race, the Rapid Rods Racing Sportsman is the big one. 35 laps tonight, $1,000 going to the winner. Remember the last time out, veteran competitor Troy Brickhouse earned that milestone win, 50. We'll talk about that here in just a bit. First out of the track, this is car number 01, David McNeil. Also out on the speedway is car number nine out of Chesapeake and the Chesapeake Custom Plumbing Chevrolet, Lee Waddell. And Lee Waddell actually drives a laser as he takes it back to turn number three. David McNeil will turn a time of 20.484 seconds. Lee Waddell takes the right flag. He'll go to P1 as he lays down a time of 20.069 seconds. Cadillac Buick GMC stock fours. We're going to get ready to call you to the infield back straight away. Last call for our All Star Late Models. All Star Late Models to the infield back straight away. Last call. All right, so that'll wrap up qualifying there. The, the first two cars. Lee Waddell turns a time of 19.953 seconds. David McNeil, second quick. His fast lap of the two came on lap number one at a 20.484 seconds. So we got a couple more drivers getting in position to come out. But again, Troy Brickhouse will be coming out here in just a bit. We'll talk about his milestone win. But how about the 96, Roger Bell? That's right, Roger Bell is back. So good to have him back on the speedway. Had some surgery in the offseason. Also had some uh, car issues that he had to address. But he's back tonight behind the wheel. He turned some very fast practice laps. He's a past track champion and somebody to always keep your eyes on. Roger Bell, the showman's on the speedway. Joe Weiss is driving the zero car tonight. That's right, that's Elizabeth City's Joe Weiss, who normally drives car number 43. And Roger Bell is back in car number 96 in the Moody's water conditioning. North Carolina 811 Piedmont Natural Gas. Lula's Hot Dogs, East Coast Containers Repairs and Affordable Transmissions. He's on the speedway. And Joe Rice is the fastest right now at 19.149 seconds. Roger Bell goes to second quick, 19.541. Here they come. Checker flag is in the air on lap number two. And Joe Weiss will actually slow down just a tick, but that was almost identical laps at a 19.158. Can Roger Bell pick it up on lap number two? Checkers are in the air. And Roger will not pick up speed on lap number two, but nevertheless, he is second quick. He turned a 19.7 second lap, about two tenths off of lap number one. But nevertheless, Roger Bell, P2 thus far here in pole qualifying. Everybody's chasing Joe Weiss. And this guy who's picked up two back-to-back -back victories, Troy Brickhouse, win number 50. Wow, think about that for just a moment. Track champion, a past track champion here at the Speedway. Just does a great job week in and week out. Car owner Shelton Goodwin celebrating a birthday. He also had a uh, added to his resume of victories. So Troy Brickhouse in car number 21, the Club 21 entries on the Speedway. Troy Brickhouse sponsored by Danny's Glover Law Firm, Lake Supermarket, Corner Market and Auctions, and Vaughn's Jewelry. He drives his Chevrolet. Will Pritchard's also in the track in car number 54. Will Pritchard right here from Elizabeth City. Waiting on the, the 21 time, but Will Pritchard goes to second fastest, 19.538 seconds. 19.538, and I don't exactly have a time on Troy Brickhouse. I believe he may have turned a 22.49. We'll double check that. And uh, indeed, Troy Brickhouse now turns a 19.542 seconds, fourth fastest for Will Pritchard. But Will Pritchard, I make that uh, Troy Brickhouse, I should say. Troy Brickhouse, fourth fastest, 19.542 seconds on lap number two. Will Pritchard, second fastest in car number 54. And uh, our timing and scoring, uh, we're checking it here as we speak. So it looks like Troy Brickhouse posted a time of 19.542, and Will Pritchard posted a time of 19.296 seconds. As qualifying continues this afternoon, everybody's chasing Joe Weiss at a 19.149. Next two cars coming out, including a past track champion, Mark Gonzalez of Elizabeth City and the Nicky Overman Roofing Kryptonite Motorsports TGD Rats Chevrolet. 
Also on the track is Kyle Watts in car number 28. Kyle drives the all-out cycle Chevrolet. Mark Gonzalez across the line. Right flag is in the air. And Mark goes to the top. 19.123 seconds. Mark Gonzalez, three poles this year. Only two other drivers have taken the pole from him. Kyle Watts, sixth fastest, 19.634 seconds. And now the checkers are in the air. Can Mark Gonzalez pick it up? The answer is yes. Survey says it'll happen. 19.097 seconds for Mark Gonzalez. Here comes Kyle Watts across the line. And Kyle will not pick up time on lap number two. But nevertheless, he'll maintain that sixth position. So it's Mark Gonzalez, Joe Weiss provisionally on row one. Rick Richard is third. Roger Bell makes his return tonight. His first race in 2021. His first race in nearly a year. He's fourth fastest. Troy Brickhouse currently rides in the fifth position. Kyle Watts is sixth. Lee Waddell seventh. And David McNeil rounds out the field. We still have a good amount of cars to go here in pole qualifying. All-star late models to the infield back straight away. Licks out of the speedway from Saluda, Virginia. It's Brett Atkins. Brett Atkins drives the Atkins Farm Equipment Debbie's Mary Kay Rocket. Also on the track, having uh, some backfiring there. That is car number 12 on the speedway. That is Gregory Russell out of Elizabeth City in the Russell Auto Parts Chevrolet. But Atkins, eighth fastest, 20.366 seconds for that blue number 16 as he's midway down the back straightaway. Here comes the 12th car, not up to full speed. So he's posted a time of 22.955 seconds, but checkers are in the air for Brett Atkins, who also drives up at Virginia Motor Speedway, also in Saluda. And Brett Atkins will pick it up. He'll be a 20.003 seconds, but that is eighth fastest here in pole qualifying. Here comes the 12 of Gregory Russell. They'll have some work to do on that machine as Gregory Russell picks up a little bit of time, 22.105 on lap number two. Right now, Troy Brickhouse is the point standings leader in the Rapid Rons Racing Sportsman Division. He leads the championship standings by four over Mark Overman. Jay Perry is third, 12 markers back. And Mark Gonzalez is currently fourth, 18 back. And rounding out the top five is Sanders Overman, who's coming out on the speedway in car number 25. He's had a very solid season for this driver out of Edenton and the East Coast Steel Fabrication Rocket. 27 years of age, quick flag is in the air for the father-son combination. The father's on pit road, his dad, Mark Overman. His son, Sanders, goes for a uh, 180. He may tag the wall, I believe he did tag the inside retaining wall. And that will put us under the yellow flag as another driver makes his return tonight. That is the number four, Doug Lincoln. Sanders Overman had just taken the green flag, getting up to speed on his first flyer lap. Looped the car in turn number one. May have gently tag the inside retaining wall but nevertheless he has put that car in reverse now he's got it back in first gear and he's rolling it down the back straight away so we'll see how this all pans out green flying is coming back out now for the four of doug lincoln again doug is back here tonight he's taking some races off here in 2021 i talked to him in the pits a few weeks ago and he said hey i'm coming back of course he's the older brother of chris lincoln who races in the Little Caesars Super Streets division. So car number four, Doug Lincoln, the Ed's Muffler Shop Chevrolet. Doug Lincoln right now in car number four is ninth fastest, 20.066 seconds. And Sanders Overman makes it up from the spin. He goes to fourth fastest, 19.368 seconds for car number 25. So good pickup for Sanders Overman. And Doug Lincoln in car number four maintains the 10th spot as uh, he picks up a little bit of speed, I believe, there. Uh, correction did not pick up speed, but nevertheless, he is 10th fastest. So still a few more cars to go. It looks like three are remaining here in pole qualifying at Dixieland Speedway on a beautiful Friday night. I tell you, it was a hot, hot Friday evening. the speedway. This is Robert Babb. Robert Babb out of Chesapeake. And oh, 
Also on the track is car number 75 of Elizabeth City, Jay Perry at the Oni Trucking Dream Hunt Chevrolet. Robert Babb, 11th fastest, 20.424 seconds for car number one. Here comes the 75 car across the line. Jay Perry, fifth fastest, 19.465 seconds. Jay Perry has had a streak of top three finishes this year. Checkered flag for the one car, Robert Babb. He will not pick up time on lap number two. Can Jay Perry pick up some time? He also will slow on lap number two. So we'll hold P5. Right now it's Mark Gonzalez in car number 51 on the provisional pole, 19.097 seconds. As the checkers were waving now, as it looks like Robert Babb has crossed the line there. I believe that might have been a third lap, so that would not count. But nevertheless, we still have one more car to go. It's car number 46 that'll come out on the racetrack. This is a heavy hitter, Mark Overman. That's right, Mark Overman, who uh, had a little bit of bad luck in the last race, dropped from the point standings leader to now second, but he's only four markers behind Troy Brickhouse. And I tell you, this driver in car number 46 has had a great, great season from Shiloh, North Carolina. One pole, one win. He drives the East Coast Steel Fabrication Chevrolet. Again, this is Sharborough's Mark Overman, who is gunning for the 2021 championship, takes the green flag. He'll take that black Chevrolet back to turns one and two. He has to come across the line faster than 19.097 seconds if he wants to win the pole and start up front for the big 35 lap, $1,000 to win race. Let's see what he does. He rides with high through three and four. White flag is in the air. For car number 46, he goes to fourth fastest, 19.359 seconds. Can he pick up speed here on lap two? A little bobble in the middle of one and two. Has that Chevrolet pretty fast as he rocks it in, turns three and four. Drives off the four. Checkers are in the air. Let's see what Mark Overman can do. And Mark Overman will go to third fastest, 19.219 seconds. That knocks Will Pritchard back to fourth. So a big congratulations to Mark Gonzalez and Team 51. They have won the pole for the Rapid Rods Racing Sportsmen. Joe Weiss will line up outside of row number one. Mark Overman will start third. Will Pritchard will roll off in fourth. Starting fifth will be Sanders Overman. Jay Perry sixth. Roger Bell in his return will start inside row four in seventh spot. Troy Brickhouse will have to come from eighth if he wants to get his third back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back victory. Starting ninth will be Kyle Watson. Lee Waddell rounds out the top ten. Brett Atkins rolls off 11th tonight. Doug Lincoln also makes start number one in 2021. will start 12th. Robert Babb, 13th. 14th will be David McNeil. And Gregory Russell will roll off in 15th position. We drop the green flag.